Aloha friends, food foresters, lovers of peace on earth. We are here at Aloha Food Forest, which is named Aloha Food Forest because Aloha means hello with love in your heart. And it's a very beautiful thing to say. And all of the food forest creatures live with this Aloha. They exchange their lives and their energies and there's gases coming in from the sky and <clears throat> particles coming in from the sky that are being transformed by fungi that live in the soil. So this is a very ecologically sound system. I do have a little, a few pots over there that I'm growing seedlings, but most of the things that I'm growing are naturalized. So naturalized is the word I use to describe what other people call weeds. Okay, so naturalized things like this radish, people may say, oh, that's a weed. Some people even say nasturtium is a weed, or wild lettuce is a weed, or mallow is a weed. But these are all useful plants that were cultivated by previous generations. So it's wonderful to get to know the weeds and see all the beautiful things that are growing here. Plus, I've been adding in things that I love, which are strawberries. Oh, look, we have a, we have a featured guest. Joy, 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 Joy. Let's see what she's doing. She's eating grass. He loves it. Her name is Joy. And then there's some carrots that we planted a while ago. And down in here, you see strawberries. This was actually a patio, a cracked old patio right along here. And we broke up the cracked patio and found that soil underneath was really nice, kind of sandy and wonderful compared to our usual heavy clay. So this has been a fun place for us to plant little seeds. And you can see, I just planted a lot of seeds from the grocery store and from other farmers. So these are some sunflowers and we have some corn, purple popcorn. Um, Pigeon peas are in there, but I haven't seen them yet. They take a longer time to sprout up, I think. But um, kinds of squashes and a whole bunch of fun things that I planted in here. I was holding, I soaked the seeds a little bit and then I was holding them in my mouth and soaking them in my, under my tongue with my own love and information. And then I planted them and it was a fun place to hold the seeds. I was holding them in my mouth while I was planting them. And I think that's a really fun place to keep them while you're planting your seeds. And so this turned into a little seed garden and it's fun to have a little garden like this actually. Not everything needs to be a wild forest. And here are some little seedlings I'm planting here. These are mostly cannabis, which is fun because we can do that here. And it's very fun for all kinds of medicinal purposes. So we'll have some sun grown and we'll get some of our own seeds because we let male and female grow together. So we get seeds. And then here's a garden that mostly planted itself. So let's reorient ourselves. We're right here. This is the far path to infinite abundance that you see in all the pictures. And it's a fun path. And right here, sugar cane that I planted by putting a little piece of sugar cane in the ground. Okay, that's all you have to do. And then I planted this coffee tree. It's not, it's never been terribly happy or very happy, but it's still alive. It is a bit covered with uh, vines right now, but 
I'm just watching it to see what the vines do because it's all it's been unhappy for a while. But look at that sea of nasturtiums. Isn't that beautiful? And then this fluffy cloud of fennel. So fun. And then more of the nasturtiums. They show up when we get a lot of rain. They absorb a lot of rain and turn it into leaves and flowers. So it's beautiful out here on the food forest. We still have our nopales, olives, and look how the nasturtiums kind of grow where there's a lot of water. They're kind of helping absorb the water and mix it with the sunlight. So, yeah, it's fun. Oh, there's a hummingbird. Let's see if we can get the hummingbird. See all the radish flowers? This is gardening by God, really. I did put in these blackberries. Uh, I think I put in calendula at one point a long time ago. And now I never plant calendula. It's all over, all over the garden. So interestingly enough, this one place here that is more dead than other places is a place that we dug up. We ran a water line under there and I put a hugel culture and it looks less happy. That's interesting. So, but yes, here is the beautiful food forest of Aloha. Creatures are all here. The flora, fauna, and fungi are all here together, creating this beautiful ecosystem. These are the tall cherry shrubs, Australian brush cherries, that shelter from wind, and they make great cherries. And here's the beautiful oak tree. So it's so, I'm so grateful that someone planted all of these beautiful trees so long ago. There's an orange tree. That uh, makes the most fragrant oranges you can imagine. So fun. And it's under the ash tree and the oak tree. So it's getting a good amount of shade. It mostly gets late afternoon west sun. So that's fun. You can see the ladder up there I've been getting some oranges, just one or two, but they are so amazing. You can't buy that at the store. So it's very fun to have this fabulous garden that partly plants itself and then partly I add trees into it. As I, as I go, I keep adding more trees, more trees. There's a cute little apple. <laughs> yeah. So I get those at the Green Thumb Nursery, which is fabulous. And we have a lot of nurseries around here, which I so am so grateful for. And her apricots. And nectarines. And then what else grows wild? Swiss chard. And I've been planting in some other seeds too. But a lot of grasses are growing and these are, these are actually garlic right here and here. And these are bunches of garlic and more bunches of garlic. So it's fun to have those in our grass collection. And yeah, more little trees, little trees. So it's beautiful, a fun garden. Those are the aloe, 
that have the um, hair staining property. They have the yellow, orange circulatory fluid in the leaves and that comes out and it can dye everything. It stains. It's a great stain. And we've been using it on our hair and it stains it yellowish, which is fun. So, yeah. So here's the food forest. Now, here's a little bush called coyote brush that grows here in California and I love it. It's a pioneer plant. And these are little Cranesbill geraniums that volunteer here. They're very nice ground cover. There's one of the aloe. Here's a little pomegranate that planted itself from the root of this pomegranate. So that's fun. And look, they make themselves a little guild with some fennel in the background and some grass. So it's all cozy when they're all together like this. So you see that? And already we are, our Swiss chard is huge. This is great animal food. <sighs> so we are very blessed. We keep co-creating with the soil, with the earth. It's lots of fun. And this is one place we did not put any mulch. And it filled itself with all these yellow flowers, which are lovely. So that's fun. But I'll leave you with a view of the pecan tree. There are those beautiful tassels it starts making in the springtime. Those are the pollen tassels. So it's so fun. It's a beautiful tree. You see the fractal expansion, infinite abundance. Okay, everyone. Well, I think this was fun. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and share this with your friends and I look forward to sharing nature's infinite abundance with you again soon. Aloha!